Hey everyone, thanks again for your patience and thank you for watching. So, the results from the Legal Eyes Skip Tracer here. I uh, got a lot of information on Oscar. It took me a while to compile this. I know you guys saw the accident I was in, so now I'll be able to break everything down for you and explain exactly what the plan is next. So, stay tuned. All right, so first things first, we actually got from Legal Eye Oscar's criminal history report. And right off the bat, we got a hit. Um, I had to censor some information here because if you have Oscar's, you know, name and addresses, you can reverse search and get his other personal information. So that's why I had to censor things here. But in short, we do have a case where Oscar and his mother failed to pay rent. This was uh, a few years back, actually. I did cover up the date. But it does show that, like I said, he did move out, but it could be due to failure to pay rent. And I will say that it was during the COVID pandemic. So we have our answer there about why he moved out of the apartment. Could plausibly be, again, just like before, where he, uh, they, they were being evicted for not paying rent. Okay, so now we're getting into the citations that Oscar received for the accident itself. Uh, so it looks like uh, failure to yield right of way on a left turn, which uh, does show that it would have been a legal turn had he waited and had he not turned into the motorcyclist the way he unfortunately did. Uh, he pleaded guilty. Uh, looks like they went for a probation before judgment, which means we put this case in the back room and then after a year or however long, we just throw it in the trash and as long as you don't do anything wrong in the, the meantime, you're good. It says the fine amount owed is zero dollars, but uh, it says fines and costs are due. Were due the the seventeenth, so he probably had to pay court costs. But it looks like he did not have to pay the actual citation cost, which saved him a lot of money. So that's ticket number one. All right, so citation number two: displaying expired registration plate issued by any state. Uh, that's sort of on me, actually. It's sort of really because of the pandemic. I uh, bought the car, and after the first accident, I didn't really have a chance to uh, to register it. Ever. And then uh, I've had appointments with the DMV, they've been canceled, I've had to work, so uh, I showed when I got pulled over once that I had the uh, DMV appointment, but as of right now it is difficult to register a car in the state of Maryland, again, because of the pandemic and things being backlogged, so uh, yeah, that's why uh, probation before judgment, no fine, but that's just the nature of my car, not something that Oscar did. All right, so this next citation, driving vehicle on highway without current registration plates and validation tabs. Uh, pretty much the same concept. Um, looks like he didn't have to pay a fine, but again, that's because my car was not registered. It was insured. Uh, I had the title and everything and all the paperwork, but because of COVID, couldn't register it. So that's that. All right, so this ticket's actually really similar to one of the previous ones. Uh, failure for the vehicle to yield intersection right of way to another vehicle. Um... So, uh, this is basically, I guess, more concrete to the accident itself. The other one maybe could have been involving just maybe a near miss or something. But I guess this is maybe more specific since there was an impact. But again, probation before judgment and then uh, no fine amount owed. So maybe they either tossed the fine or he already paid the court costs. But that one's already taken care of as well. Okay, so this one confused me at first since it seems a little bit redundant, but driver failure to obey properly placed traffic control device instructions. But since there was a green light and no green arrow, uh, this basically says, you know, uh, he could wait and go, but he went when he didn't have the right of way. So that's what the other ticket says, but this says that do when he did that, it was specifically uh, contradictory to the instructions of the uh, green light without a green arrow. And again, probation before judgment. All right, so now we're getting into the open source intelligence report. This shows all of his personal information, names of relatives, phone numbers, addresses, social media, you name it. And uh, this is what we found. So uh, this did, again, prove that he is Hispanic, which is good because some of the uh, court documents said otherwise. Uh, the exact age, uh, the phone numbers, including the cell number I had, which is cool. The address that I went with Big Mike to try to serve him, and also I found out that his possible current address, I can't show it, is uh, very close to my house, and I have a friend who owns an S2000 that used to live in that neighborhood. So that's a really, really hot lead, and uh, we're going to be checking that out soon, but I'll tell you why I haven't done that yet in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to go down that list and keep searching addresses, probably at night, to see, you know, people are most likely to be home at night, see what we find. But, uh, yeah, definitely a good extensive list here. 
All right, now I'm seeing two Facebook accounts, one that looks older than the other, and a Twitter and LinkedIn account. Uh, I looked at the Japanese writing there, and it translates to Osuka, I guess, which is Oscar in Japanese. I guess he fancies himself to be a bit of a weeb, but uh, yeah, that's definitely him. Uh, no personal info on these accounts that I can see, other than just confirming that you know he did go to Annapolis High. He did, and does in fact live in the area. Um, and obviously nothing new about him moving or planning to move. And at the end here, we just have a little, uh, legal disclaimer, so, uh, that's the end of it. Hey, everyone, so there you have it. We have, uh, multiple addresses. We have everything we need to move forward. Uh, I can't drive right now because I have a concussion, and after my, uh, after my accident in the video, I went to an urgent care clinic, and they sent me right to the ER, um, and I was in a neck brace and they did a lot of tests and, uh, I do have a concussion, um, slip disc, pinched nerves, and, uh, hopefully no more damage to the other injuries I've had in the past. So I guess it's just whenever I'm safe to drive, just driving, finding out which exact address, um, Oscar's at of the ones on the list. And then, uh, going to the courthouse to switch the service from officer service to, uh, to personal service and have Big Mike or another friend of mine uh, serve Oscar in person. That way we can get that on video. So thank you for your patience. The next video update is going to be amazing. I already know. And I'll see you in the next one.